Pleasure to have Steve Wainwright here. Steve is in charge of the Freescale operations here in Europe, in EMEA actually. And I uh, wanted to take the opportunity as we're working together now for how many years? Since I think 69, 20, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, Motorola at that time, now Freescale has gone through a lot of transitions. Um, Steve, why don't you tell us a bit about what has developed uh, over the last two or three years? Sure, sure. I mean, you say a lot of changes uh, for Freescale, but the semiconductor industry for sure is a constant. You have to change uh, and adapt. Uh, so along with everybody else, we've been bringing out a lot of new products. Uh, I guess the biggest single change has been our doubling down in embedded processing. Uh, that's really the heart of what Freescale does. And the industrial market has been an area that we have really been pushing very, very hard in the last few years. Uh, and of course, that plays very strongly to our distribution network. In terms of changes in our distribution network, uh, in the last year we rationalized our network. Mm -hmm. We went from uh, essentially uh, four distributors in Europe to three. Um, and in doing that, we really wanted to get more focus from our partners, including EBV. Uh, and we also wanted to find a way of rewarding you more for demand creation. Uh, and that's the biggest change that we've seen. So a lot more focus, a lot more share of mind, I must say, we feel from EBV, <laughs> which is great. Uh, and you know, I, I think we're really seeing the benefits. Last year, growth rate was around about 15% mm -hmm. in the channel. Uh, that's way above market. And that means that Freescale and EBV are gaining share in that space. Cool. The other thing I think from a strategic perspective you have done as a company, you're looking very deep into the Internet of Things space, right? Right. Uh, what are the main developments you're seeing? What is Freescale really doing in the Internet of Things space? Well, the Internet of Things is, is like a gift for Freescale. It's fantastic because nobody else has got that massive width of offering that we have. So from very, very small embedded devices at the edge of the network, like sensors and the world's smallest 32-bit microcontroller, which comes from Freescale. Scale, uh, all the way through gateways and applications processes to network processes, mm -hmm. which are at the extreme opposite end and mm -hmm. really get involved in this cloud interface side. So we have a, a tremendously broad range of product for IoT, and that's what I mean by when I say it's like a gift, because it knits together our businesses across segments. Some of the areas that we're very, very invested in, like automotive, are turning into real IoT applications. Mm -hmm. The car is just the biggest, most complex <laughs> node that any of us have, but that, that it's still a node. It's still part of the IoT story. So it's playing very nicely for us. Uh, the other thing that's tremendously important for us is security. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when you think about the IoT, the biggest single derailer that you could imagine would be security. Uh, and again, Freescale thinks that we, we can bring some, some real skin into this game. Uh, we've got some great uh, attributes that I can uh, explain to you later on if you wish. You're talking a bit about the challenges, right? Because security is one challenge. What are the other challenges you see and how do you address those? Well, I think it's uh, a lot of it is the, is the usual challenges of the semiconductor industry. I mean, basically, smaller, more powerful, uh, and consuming less power. Okay, that's and that's been the same for 40 years in the semiconductor industry. So those challenges are constant. So small form factor, um, long life for remote uh, devices. So <laughs> battery life has to be as long as you can. So you have to have efficiency there. Um, and then the other biggest challenge is probably around communications. Uh, there is no clear winner for communications protocols. Good which means that for us, we have to be involved in all of the standards. So it's Zigbee, we have to know about uh, Bluetooth low energy, we have to know about Wi-Fi. Uh, and so that's a real challenge, is to scale all of that functionality into small devices. What do you expect from your partners, specifically from EBV, to bring that to market? Well, EBV has got a reputation uh, with Freescale and with the, the client base in Europe as being probably the most technical distributor um, that people deal with. Mm -hmm. That plays very well for us. Uh, the complexity of our offering uh, means that we have to have very highly trained, highly committed salespeople and applications people. And I think EBV are very well mm -hmm. positioned to do that. 
The security topic that I was talking to earlier on uh, is something that we really think uh, should be a differentiator for Freescale. And there's no easy way of putting it, it's complex. Um, complexity should help EBV to excel, I think. Uh, I think that enables you to move the conversation uh, on and to really develop it into a thought leadership topic. So it's a different topic to be talking to your customers about and I think it should serve you very, very well. Yeah, actually, and also it matches well with the markets that we try to address both from a segment perspective but also from a technology perspective like security, like wireless, right? For sure. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks for, having, for taking the time. Always a pleasure and good luck to us. Huh? Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.